Hello everybody. Um, in this video, I'm we're going to see how to create how to install Git inside um, a digital ocean droplet. How to set that up, and most importantly, how to set up um, an SSH key that connects your GitHub account. Okay. Now, in, first important thing to know: no, remember that, or you know, notice that. Digital Ocean is like you're creating a new box, like you're creating this brand new computer, and it does it doesn't have anything installed. So, if you're thinking, I already did an SSH key, and I can copy and paste that into my GitHub account. Yes, you can, but remember that that GitHub that SSH key you're copying and pasting into your GitHub account that you already did is from your local machine. Now, since we want our droplet to connect with Git as well, we have to create an SSH key inside the droplet and connect that to GitHub as well. So you can have your local machine connected to GitHub and that's perfectly fine. But we also want, in our case, we also want to connect our droplet to GitHub. So let's start. Let's do that. All right. So brand new droplet. We've successfully logged into this droplet using SSH key. Let's update. The first thing we want to do is to update this droplet. So let's do sudo app-get update. It'll run. You know, it might take a while. Um, All right, that's finished. Now we're going to install Git. So we'll do sudo app-get install git. Y to continue, yes. All right, perfect. Now, let's um com let's conf the way we're go we're going to configure git is the following. So we'll do git space config dash dash glo space um space dash dash global user.name and here you'll type your name enter and then you'll do git config dash dash global user.email and you'll type your email perfect all right now let's generate that new ssh key and we'll do something similar we already did so we'll do SSH dash keygen dash T RSA B four oh nine six. We'll hit enter. Oh, whoops. Oh, yeah, I have a typo here. I'm sorry. So this T is going go. Hit enter. It's generating. Yeah, we'll go, we want to save it here. So we'll hit enter. That's fine. I'm going to leave it empty for no passphrase. So I'll hit enter. It'll conf I'll have to confirm this again. So enter. And this is the image that my key, my random art image that my key was created. All right. So I want to ensure that SSH agent is enabled. And in order to do that is to type the following command. Eval space quotes dollar sign parentheses SSH dash agent space dash s close parenthesis and close quotes enter i'll get an id um everybody will have a different id then i want to add this key to that ssh agent um so let's do ssh dash add then tilde slash dot ssh slash id underscore rsa identity has been added now Let's copy this key, and in order to do this, we'll do the following um, workaround. Notice that on the previous video, we used pbcopy, but pbcopy won't work inside our droplet. So let's do the following. We'll do cat, whoops, cat tilde dot ssh slash 
id underscore rsa whoops rsa dot pub pub this will show you this will show us our droplet our droplet ssh key we're gonna grab the whole thing right here from ssh all the way to the bottom um in my case it got the droplet name okay um this might be another thing differently um you can change this if you want but in my case since i did not specify a specific name for this key it just gra it just grabbed my droplet name all right so i'm going to copy this all right and now i'm going to go into github i'm going to i'm going to click he click here on my avatar go to settings go to ssh and add new ssh I'm gonna click and I'm gonna say digital ocean and paste this here and click add new SSH. It's going to ask my password to confirm. I'll type in this. Perfect. All right. So this is set. You'll probably get an email confirmation that a new SSH key has been added. Um, that's all right. That's perfect. Now I'm going to go into. Um, The website I want to use and or the, or the repo I want to use and I'm gonna say and try to see if everything is working perfectly I'm going to git clone and paste the git um, um, the git clone URL Hit enter it's going to ask to like to authenticize the key you'll type in yes hit enter and if if you did not receive an error message you got this it's you got it working uh, and to double check we'll do an ls and we want to make sure that we see the directory inside our root and yeah here we go all right perfect all right so i hope this helped you um set up your ssh key inside the um digital ocean create your um, SSH key inside digital ocean remember that it's a separate key we want to con um, for our droplet so we can connect it to our github account um, it's basically the same first um, same steps we did um, creating our SSH key for our digital ocean droplet like in the previous video but now we just did the same thing in order for our droplets to connect it to our github account so think about it this way like your computer needed an SSH key to connect to the droplet. You created that droplet, and that droplet is a brand new computer that needed a uh, separate SSH key in order to connect to GitHub. So basically, that's what that's all we've done so far, um, and we just tested that this works inside our droplet by cloning a GitHub repo. All right, so hope this helps. Good luck, and have fun. Bye bye.